You ready? Yeah. It's a good boy. Right. Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Wednesday, February 26th, 2020. Uh, so, before we jump into the topic of the video, woke up this morning, had about three more inches of snow on everything. Uh, the trees are now more, a lot more clear. You see it all falling off now, but it was, it was actually, I hate to admit it again, it was really, really pretty this morning. But you can see it's really falling off the trees now, the snow already is. But it was, it was a pretty cool looking coating on all the trees this morning. Uh, you know, but anyway, um, first of all, before we get into the topic, I want to remind everybody I will be live streaming tonight at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So please join me then, and we will be going over everything that has been going on. Um, actually, the president is also speaking tonight um, on the situation, which I think will be interesting. I'm not sure what time he is going to be on doing that. He'll probably be on. Uh, probably nine o'clock, so probably after we're done with the stream. But he's going to be on tonight too. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about a little bit of everything, uh, and uh, just kind of go over things uh, this evening. So please join me 8 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Okay. So uh, I will be live streaming. So okay, I got to show you this. So in the driveway, you see how I came in, and I was off, and I knew I was off the driveway. And I was like, just, I was gunning it, just trying to get through. And thank goodness I did, and got back on track and got back in the driveway. I was like, yeah, that would have been bad. All right, so we're going to talk about self-evaluating your preps, okay? And I'm going to use the best example I know. I'm going to use myself. Um, this whole thing with the coronavirus has really been... A huge, huge, huge wake-up um, for me. Now, as you guys know, I mean, I've been prepping for years. I mean, I'm just absolutely prepping for years. Uh, realistically, and I'm going to be—I'm always honest with you guys, so I'm going to be honest. I never really was preparing that much for a pandemic, so you know, I wasn't as prepared as I should have been. So, one of the things that um, an event like this, which is going on, does for you, it helps you to self-evaluate where you're at. It would have come off anyway. I just was helping it the last little bit there. Um, it helps you self-evaluate where you're at with your preps. And so it's a good thing. It's uh, To me, it was a great thing because I, it shows you uh, where your weaknesses are. And so you look at what your situation is, you look at what you've done, what you've accomplished, where you want to be, and then you have to take that good hard look at yourself and say, yeah, I am weak in these areas. And then hopefully you make those corrections. And I have. I mean, I absolutely have. Uh, everything from the Tyvek suits, uh, you know, and I got those at Lowe's, to, um, you know stocking up more on just about everything uh, I actually now I just went out last week and I got more feed and stuff for the birds and I got more dog food and everything like that well I went out again yesterday and I bought another 150 pounds of seed another 50 pounds of cracked corn and so uh, everything is full plus I have two extra bags of feed sitting into the side I'm probably gonna go and pick up one more bag of cracked corn just to have and every, like I said all my cans that I have they're completely full but I just want to have it on hand and here's the beauty of it okay the beauty is that if this again turns into a big nothing burger I will use it eventually and I won't have to buy it for a while okay so that's a win-win situation um, I went out yesterday and also bought another 50-pound bag of dog food, another 36-pound bag of uh, cat food as well, and I already have backups of that already, but I just wanted more. I just wanted to be in a position that if a bug-in situation is going to happen, then I need to, you know, be ready for that. So here's one of the things that I was lacking, that I was, and I thought about this, and, and I went and corrected this yesterday as well, too. Like I told you, I was running around yesterday. Um, so what I did was I, uh, 
I use the pods, you know, when I do laundry, right? Throw them in the washing machine, you do your pods, you're good to go. Well, I got thinking about it, and I said, you know, if it's an SHDF situation, uh, you're going to be having to wash stuff at home, um, you know, either by hand or however you're going to do it. So that's not going to be something that's going to work. So I went out yesterday, and I bought three of the big containers. They have uh, it's a liquid soap. And it's 106 loads per container. So again, um, it's something that I obviously over time will use. And uh, and if it is an SHTF situation and we are bugging in, then boom, we're good to go for washing up clothes and stuff like that. Uh, I already have a lot of dish soap on hand, so that wasn't one of the things that was an issue. But again, you know, you look at things and you have to self-evaluate. Where am I weak? What do I need to correct? You know, like today, like I said, I went out today, um, this morning, and I went and picked up uh, more Advil, more Tylenol. Um, you know, I, I grabbed those things. I actually grabbed a couple of more tarps today as well. Just to have these things on hand, uh, I think that it's important. So, I'm trying, like I said, guys, when I, when I tell you to do things, I'm not just telling you to do it and I'm doing nothing. Uh, if you really saw how much more I have prepped over the last few weeks, you'd be like, this guy's insane. But again, um, you know, I have been, I can see what's going on. I can, I pay attention, like I said, to everything. Not just here in the U.S., but around the world as well. Uh, the number of virus, coronaviruses here in the U.S. continues to go up, which I still believe are underreported. Um, I've been, give, been getting some intel from different people, and there is a lot more cases in the U.S. than we are already being currently told. Uh, you know, the CDC's come out and said that, uh, you know, they believe that we're going to have an interruption in normal activity uh, in our lives. So again, these are, like I said, these are things that we need to pay attention to. All right. So, well, like I said, we're going to go over all those things tonight. We'll talk about all that and what's going on. Uh, yesterday, the stock market was down almost another 900 points. So I know the last I looked today, it was up. I don't know where it's at now. Actually, I can tell you in a second. I'll take a look right now because right now it is a little afternoon. So I was watching. It was up earlier. Oh, now it's only up 27. It was up 300 and something earlier. So right now it's only up 27. So who knows where that's going to be at the end of the day. Again, it's something else we can discuss tonight. But, you know, when you lose 6% of the stock market in two days, you know, with losing 2,000 points, I think it was 3% the first day and right around 3% the second day. Again, you know, that makes a difference. That's something to pay attention to. Everything is something to pay attention to. Trust me. You look at what is happening. You look at the explosion of the cases in uh, South Korea. You look at what's going on in Italy and those type of things. Other places, I guarantee you, they're being underreported. Um, even in those places, it may be underreported. But one of the things that I really want you guys to take heed of is you look at the situation, you look at the grocery stores in places, and there is nothing there, okay? Because, like, it's in Italy, the different places, people are just bought everything that they could. That panic buying will absolutely 100% happen here as well. So the biggest thing that we can do, again, as preppers, foresight, thinking ahead, planning, hopefully you guys have been doing that, and you have been getting ready. Um, again, it's a great time to really evaluate to sit down, to look at where you are with your preps and, uh, you know, come to that conclusion of what's good, what's not good. But, um, so again, you, 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 it's a, it's a perfect opportunity to self-evaluate, to say, where am I weak? Where am I strong? And, uh, what can I do to improve my situation? Especially, like I said, I mean, the situation has never really had to be um, in our in our thoughts, a lot of people's thoughts of having to shelter in place. That has never really been something that people thought. God, you know, we may have to shelter in place for 60, 90, 120 days. We just don't know. So again, looking at your situation, looking at where you're at, what you have, what you don't have, what you need to adjust. That is a good thing, and it's a self evaluation. It's just a wonderful thing to be able to sit down, look at it, and go, okay. This is what I need to improve. This is what I need to do and do it. So, um, again, every day that we are given, folks, um, that we can get ready to prepare is a blessing. It really, truly is. So I want you guys to think about that, all right? 
Um, so anyway, yesterday, I want to mention this really, really quickly. Yesterday pulled uh, eight eggs yesterday I got from the chickens yesterday. And uh, so far today, I have already pulled six eggs today so far. And again, it's only noon, so I definitely will be getting more. But uh, birds are good. The dogs are good. Uh, cats are doing well. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's now the snow is, like I said, if you saw, I, I wish I had gotten video earlier. But you guys have seen it before when I had the video of the snow and the trees. It was really, really pretty. But uh, thank goodness it's already melting off a little bit. Uh, it's a little warmer today. But, uh, you know, not too warm. But here's the funny thing. So we get three inches up here. Snow everywhere, right, as you can see. Look around, there's snow everywhere. I come off my, my hill, and I get down to the bottom of the hill, and there's no snow at all. <laughs> there's no snow at all. I'm like, that's not right. From the difference in town to here is always between 6 and 8 degrees difference in temperature. So that 6 to 8 degrees can make a big difference if you're going to get rain or it's going to be snow. So, but, you know. I wouldn't want to be in town. I like being up in the hills. Um, I enjoy it. Oh my God. I'm telling you. So anyway, guys, I am going to jump off of here for now. Um, I hope everybody is doing well. Please join me tonight. Live stream, 8 p.m. We will go over everything. Um, again, if you still are interested in adding on to your freeze-dried food, I still obviously have that available. The sale has ended. But you can go to my website at PrepperNurse1.com. You can go in there. You can uh, click on Store. It drops down, and you'll see Legacy Foods. You click on that, and you have all the options there. I will tell you, if you are looking to get something right away, uh, a lot of the 60-meal buckets are gone. Uh, they're, well, And I, when I say gone, they're out of stock for right now. Uh, the gluten-free stuff, forget about it. All the way up to the 360 packages, it's all gone. So if you're looking to get like a 120, 240, 360 package or more, um, I can get those orders in right now. I've been working on things with that as well. So trying to work with people, trying to get stuff out for you guys. All right. So I'll get it out as soon as I possibly can. I promise you that. That's the one thing that I will make sure that I try to get you guys squared away as quickly as possible. So anybody waiting on stuff, please be patient. Um, they're they're slammed they're absolutely slammed so anyway so that's what's going on with that so remember guys join me tonight 8 p.m eastern time for the live stream we're going to go over all kinds of stuff it'll be a good chat and hopefully we'll have a good time with it hopefully we won't have an interruption but we will see so anyway um i will see you all tonight obviously i won't have a title of saying anything that shouldn't be said um just as hopefully so we don't get interrupted but we will see what happens with that. So anyway, remember, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life, so it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Also remember, guys, um, S, like I said, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you, okay? I uh, hope you're all doing well, and I will see you tonight. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. Oh, and we are getting solar, too, just so you guys know. And the panels were covered this morning, but uh, they're good to go now. All right, we'll see you.